Praise it! Congratulations for taking the first step towards abundant health. You know, that first step is never easy. It wasn't easy for, for Peter to step out of the boat towards the Lord on the water. And it certainly wasn't easy for Joshua at Jericho. You know, and speaking of Joshua, you two have walls to tumble, walls of blood pressure and, and body weight. You know, we have your marching orders in 33 minutes a day for 33 days. And if you stick with us, the world will see you're not just walking around in circles. But before we get to the warm up, I want to introduce you to Team Pray Fit. Meet Mimi. Meet Jersey, my man Kenny, and Haley. Now Haley's gonna be our modifier. Any modification or variation of the exercise, a little bit easier to do, you're gonna be working out with Haley. Everyone ready here? Everyone ready at home? The Lord bless you, in Jesus' name we train. All right, let's start with a warm up, just jog in place. Come on everybody, join me. Good, let's just warm up the body. Get the body moving, flowing. Get those ankles warmed up, the calves, the knees, the hips, the shoulders. Pump those arms a little bit. The Pray Fit 33 is all about progression. Your own progression, your own body weight. Yeah, you know, it doesn't take fancy equipment to change the body. We're just gonna use our own body weight as resistance. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's warm up the shoulders with some arm circles. Arms to your side, and go. Yeah, we're gonna warm up all parts of the body. We're gonna be doing upper body work, lower body work. A little bit bigger now. Good. Pray for 33 is all about simplicity. Simple moves, simple body weight moves day in, day out, doing a little bit better today than you did yesterday. Today's quest was yesterday's best. A little bit bigger now. Good. Nice. It's all about creating good, solid habits. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one, good. Let's get the whole body moving now with some high knees. Ready, and let's go. Try and get those quads parallel to the floor. Pump those arms. Nice, really good. It's all about habit. Having fun day in, day out. Asking more of yourself than you did the day before. You know, one of my favorite authors says, C.S. Lewis, he said, you know, you don't have souls, you are souls. You have bodies. Let's move them. Come on, five seconds, five. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right, some old school jumping jacks, playground style. Here we go. Go. Nice. Nothing wrong with jumping jacks. We need more kids doing jumping jacks on playgrounds, right? Good for the whole body, the shoulders, the hips, the ankles, the calves, the heart rate going, burning calories, having fun. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's do some shadow boxing. Come on, let's get in the rain together. Let's go, punch it out. Shift the body, move the hips, punch it out. That's right, I love it when Paul said in Corinthians, you know, I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. And that's all we wanna do. We wanna train the body that carries the soul in 33 minutes a day. You with me? You with me at home? Come on, stay with me now. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Yeah, nice. All right, everyone, we're moving on to Pray Fit Strength. We're going to do four exercises, 30 seconds apiece. Then we're going to repeat those before we hit our first Pray Fit Challenge of the day. You're going to love it. Uh, the first exercise is the body weight squat. Let me demonstrate. Feet just outside shoulder width, toes pointed out, knees bent. Abs are always tight, chest is up. You're gonna sit down like you're sitting in a chair, then press through the floor to full extension and squeeze. Everyone ready at home? Everyone ready? All right, let's do this now. Sit and squeeze, good. Down and squeeze, keep those abs in tight, good. Squeeze. Good. Compound move, working the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes. Even the upper body is at work. Good, squeeze it. Nice. Good. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two. Down one more time. Good, and squeeze it. Nice. Next exercise is the body weight push-up. Let me show you how everyone down on the mat with me, we're gonna go hands just outside shoulder width. Take your chest down to the floor. When your chest gets about an inch or so away, you're gonna press up to full extension. 
All right, everyone got that? All right, let's do it. And down. Good. If this proves too difficult, go ahead and go to the knees. Good. Press. Nice. Good. Working the triceps, working the chest, the front delts. Very nice. Come on, guys. Five seconds. Five, three, two, one more time. And up, good, up to the feet. Let's go. Bodyweight lunge. One foot in front of the other. All we're gonna do is take our back knee down to the floor, then press up to full extension, squeeze everything at the top. Ready? Let's go, guys. And down. Good. You know, the thing about PrayFit, it's all about why. The reason why to train. How is easy? How is whatever you'll do? I'm asked all the time, what's the best thing to do to get into shape? And my answer is always the same. It's whatever you'll do. <laughs> it's really about finding your why. Your why might be looking at you in the mirror, might be sitting with you at the dinner table. Five seconds. It might be because God is in your heart. When you find that why, how is easy. Switch legs. And down. Good, squeeze it, come on. Careful with the knee over the toe. You don't wanna have any shear forces in that kneecap. This also works some core musculature because of the balance necessary. Press through the floor, good. Remember, it's just 33 minutes a day, 33 days. Come on now, you can do this. Come on, five seconds, five, four, three, two, down one more time. And squeeze it, good. All right, on to one of my favorites. It's a speed skater move. Feet out wide, toes pointed out. All we're gonna do is we're gonna shift the body from side to side, staying down low. Ready, everyone? All right, shift it, and go. Go, yes, stay down low. Chest is up, abs are in tight, pressing through the floor. Stay flat-footed, yeah, glide, and glide, glide. It's constant tension. There is some endurance work in here, but it's, it takes a lot of strength to stay down low and work the, the quads, the hams, and the glute. Keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right, right back to the top. It's gonna feel good right after those speed skaters. Body weight squat, and down. Good, and squeeze, good. Good, Haley, that's right. No matter what, what level you're at, a beginner, You've been doing this, you're on day 15, day 33, it's still your best effort. Even if you're modifying the exercises, everyone might be at a different level, but everyone has a best effort, and that's all we want. That's all we want is the best effort in 33 minutes for 33 days. Five seconds, five, four, three, come on, two, and one, nice, good job, good job. Down to the push-up, come on, everyone. Hands outside, shoulder width, and down. Down and up, very nice. That's right. Push-up is a great upper body exercise. Working the triceps, the chest, the front delts. It's really important you keep the navel in nice and tight, the head neutral. A lot of times we have the tendency to look up, try to see ourselves in the mirror. Don't do that, just keep it nice and neutral. Really helps protect the cervical spine. Come on now, 33 minutes a day, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, good job. It's all about finding your why, finding your why. Look at me, one foot in front of the other. Let's do the lunge, and down. Good, down, good. We all have got, we all have got obstacles in life. You know, we've got time, we have obligations. You know, just like Moses, when he hit that Red Sea, he, it was a big obstacle, but you know what? God split the water and he walked right on through. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one, switch legs, you know? He had his sea of obstacles and so do we, but you know what? The Lord is in control and he is in command and he can help us get through the sea of obstacles. We just have to do it. All we ask is 33 minutes a day for 33 days. You can do this. Press through the floor. Come on, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, shake it out. Back to those speed skaters. Back to those speed skaters and go. Let's stay with Moses right there on the water. Let's get across that water. Let's get across what God has already provided. He's, it's, it's dry land. Let's go. Come on. Work. When we get to the other side, better bodies, lower blood pressure, slimmer waistlines, looking better in shirts, looking better in dresses, looking better in jeans. 
There's no shame in looking great. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, check it out. All right, we're on to our Pray Fit Challenge, the push-up. Let's do this, as many push-ups as you can do in 33 seconds. And remember to keep track of it because you're gonna beat that tomorrow. Today's best will be tomorrow's minimum request. Let's get to it right now. 33 push-ups, everyone, and let's go, begin, go. As many as you can do in 33 seconds. Reach deep inside yourself. You can do so much more than you think you can. You just have to ask your heart. You're, you've got everything inside you. Come on, Mimi. Come on, Haley. Whoa, look at Kenny go. It's all about your best effort. Go, remember the number. Remember the number at home. You've got to beat this tomorrow. It's all about daily progression. The body will only change according to the level at which you stress it. So make it happen. Let's go. Five, four, work. Three, two, one. Nice. Good job. How'd you do at home? You gotta remember that number because tomorrow you gotta beat it. It's all about day in, day out, making yourself better. How'd you do? I did great, 17. 17, good job, Haley. That's right, good job, 16. Whatever it is, it's your best effort. We deserve it, the Lord deserves it. In Jesus' name we train. Good job, moving on. All right, everyone, we're moving on to Pray Fit Cardio. We're gonna do four exercises, 30 seconds a piece, then we're gonna repeat those before we hit our next Pray Fit Challenge. It's gonna be great. Everyone ready? Yeah. Everyone at home ready? Come on, everybody up. All right, jump rope now and begin. Nice. Good old fashioned jump rope. You don't need a jump rope. Just pretend, just like we're doing here. Up on the calves. You're training with Haley. One foot on the floor at all times. It's perfect. Nice job. It's really important that we've done cardio after strength training the best possible order. And don't forget, we got good abs and flexibility after this, so stay with us. 33 minutes, it's what it's all about. Good. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Hamstring kicks, here we go. And kick it up. Get those heels as high as possible, as fast as possible. Pump it out, pump it, pump it. Let's go. Really isolate those hamstrings. Really isolate them. Pump the arms. Very nice. It's okay to be out of breath. I love it in the Bible how it talks about Jesus having to climb mountains to pray. So if you think about it, Jesus climbed mountains to pray for you and me. When he got to the top, he was probably out of breath. <laughs> and I can just imagine, oh, he blesses my soul, and that means I can be out of breath for him, trying to better the body that he created. Let's go. Five seconds. Five, four, three, Two and one. Woo! Nice. High knees now. Let's get them up now. Ready? And high knees. Good. When you think about the Lord being out of breath with you on the mind, it justifies what we do to take care of the body that carries what's most important to Him, which is our soul. Never at the expense of what's most important. Let's go. High knees. Get them up now. High stepping. Good job, good job. Keep it up. More, more, more. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice, whoo, shake it out. Standard jumping jack, let's go, and good. Nice, good. Should be heart pumping now, huh? And that's fine, that is so fine. You know, when the shepherds heard about Jesus being born, they didn't stick around walking. They hustled to see the newborn king. They were high-stepping, hearts pumping. They may not have, they didn't have presents, but they showed up with presents. They showed up. Let's go. Just show up every day. 33 minutes for 33 days. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right, guys. Back to the top. And jump rope. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, I hear that hooping and hollering back here. You don't need a lot of sophisticated equipment to change the body. An imaginary jump rope, a little free space, good for the calves, the whole cardiovascular system. You're pumping the body, you're having fun. You may, you may be working alone. You may be working with your spouse, your kids, or a group just like we are here today more today than you did yesterday, bettering yourself, 
bettering your body for the ones you love and the one who loves you. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Hamstring kicks, ready? And go. Yeah, good. Now if you're working out with Haley, keeping one foot on the floor at all times, still squeezing that hamstring. Good, Haley, nice. Good, remember, it's all about your best. You might be day one, day 33, day 15. It's all about progressive, making your body do more and more each and every day. You might be a beginner coming off of a layoff. You may be a seasoned athlete. You still have a best. And you know what? That's all the, that God asks of us. Our very best day in and day out. You know, the body's not gonna last heaven, but our health is a means of praise. So use it. Come on now, five seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Now to the high knees, high stepping. Let's go, high knees. Come on, pump the arms, pump the arms, let's go. Knees and arms, up, up, up. Yeah, that's right. No shame, no shame in moving the body. We have to be good examples for one another. We have to be good examples for kids. If we're not examples, nobody will be. Come on, get up there, get up there, finish strong. Yeah, let's go, five seconds, five, pump it. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. Last set of jumping jacks. Come on, finish strong. Here we go, and jump it, jump it. Good, old school. Pump. You know, someday we'll all bow. We'll all take a knee. Until then, I'm jumping jacks. I'm running, I'm high knees, I'm lifting. I'm doing whatever I can do day in, day out to be a good steward of my body. And you know, what's a steward? Someone who's been given something that's not their own to take care of. These bodies are not our own. We're on loan. Let's go, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. All right, guys, the Pray Fit Challenge, jump squats. Here's what that is. We're gonna squat down and press up as high as we can, as many times as you can in 33 seconds. And you're gonna remember that number because I'm gonna make you beat it tomorrow. Everyone ready? Let's rock and roll, let's go and jump. Good, explode, explode. Ask more of yourself. Come on, come on, those are the, we're working the fast twitch muscle fibers. Those are the fibers most responsible for, for tone and strength. Come on everybody, 33 seconds, come on now. Come on, good, Kenny. Come on, more, more than yesterday, more tomorrow. Come on, you can do it. Pray for 33, let's go, come on. Almost done, you're almost there. Come on, there's a the light, come on. Good, Mimi, praise the Lord, let's go, come on. Good, 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 good. Five, four, come on, three, and two, and one. Nice, nice. How'd you do at home? Still with us, good job. Remember that number. How many did you get, Haley? 24, all right, 24. Tomorrow, it'll be what? 25. 25, exactly, good job. Nice job, everyone. Tomorrow, one more than you did today. Bless the Lord. Moving on. Good job. Woo. All right, everyone, we're moving on to Pray Fit Abs. We're gonna do four exercises, 30 seconds apiece. Then we're gonna repeat those before we hit our next Pray Fit Challenge. Everyone ready at home? Yeah. Everyone ready here? All right, the first exercise is the standard crunch. Let me demonstrate. Everyone on the mat with me? The standard crunch. Hands behind your head, nice, nice and lightly cupping the back. You don't want to pull. Feet flat on the floor, knees bent. All you're going to do is you're going to crunch up, bringing your shoulder blades off the floor, and then back down. All right, everyone? Let's do this. And crunch it up and down. Crunch it up and down. Nice, good. Squeeze it. Even though the range of motion is small, there's a lot going on. Good. Nice. Our abdominals are involved in so many activities. That's why they're pretty resilient to change. Nice. Keep going. Everyone's heard of the six pack. This is actually what's working, the six pack, the most Visible portion of the abs. Good, everybody, good. Nice, crunch it up. Really squeeze that peak contraction at the top. We all know the abs are important. They also, they look pretty good. Nothing wrong with having a slim waistline, flat tummy, 
In fact, when we're obedient with our health, a flatter tummy and slimmer waist, those are just byproducts of obedience. Come on, squeeze it up. Five seconds. Four and three and two. Last one up and good, good. Moving to the reverse crunch, the lower abdominals. Hands underneath the hips, head back. Knees are bent. You're going to bring your knees to your chest, then heels down to the floor. All right, guys, join me now. And crunch it up, back down. Good. Crunch it up, back down. Nice. Crunch it up. Good. Lower abdominals. Even though you're still working the upper abs, you're highly involving the lower abs. And if you're training with Haley, you're working one leg at a time. And up. Crunch it. Nice. Keep going. And more. Ah, nice. Remember, byproducts of obedience, never at the expense of what's most important. These small crunches are ways to give thanks. Crunch it. Five seconds. Five, four, good. Three, two, and one. Woo! Feeling that? <laughs> good, me too. All right, now on to the double crunch where we kind of put those two moves together, working the upper abs as well as the lower abs. What we're gonna do is hands behind the head, legs extended about six inches off the floor, and you're gonna crunch the body together in the middle, then extend. All right, everyone? Yeah. Everyone ready to join me? Yes. All right, let's go. And crunch it. Good. Extend. Good. Crunch. Extend. Nice. And remember, if you're training with Haley, your legs are staying bent, working within yourself. Whatever you can do, whatever your best is, that's all we're asking. Nice. Crunch it up. Extend. Get that head as far away from the feet as you can. Good. Crunch it. Five seconds. Five and four, and three, and two, last one, and crunch it. Nice, good. Feeling that? Yeah. Feeling that at home? I hope so, we are. All right, let's go to the plank, let's flip over. We're gonna work the transverse abdominis, the muscle most responsible for the stability in the spine. There's no movement in this move, all right? Here's how to do it. Up on the elbows and the toes, extend the body, head neutral. You're just gonna hold this position. Join me, everybody. On your elbows and toes. And now, if this proves too difficult, you just go right to your knees to modify. Work out with Haley. And hold it. There's no movement. Really draw that navel in tight. It's in positions like this, so you just, you know what? Just thank God for this day. Thank God for life, for the air in my lungs, because you're the one who put it there in the first place. And you know what? I'm gonna thank you for this day by doing a plank. No shame in that. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Woo! All right, back to the start. Standard crunch. One more round. Let's do it. Come on now, everybody. Let's go. And up and crunch. Good. Let's go. When you consider the cost of health, consider what Abraham was asked to do with his son Isaac, asked to sacrifice his own son as a means of praise. You know, if health is a means of praise, what is that gonna cost? Is it gonna cost crunches? Is it gonna cost pushing away from the table sooner rather than later? Whatever the cost, pay it. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's go to the reverse crunch. Hands under the hips, good, and crunch it up. Yeah, now if you're working out with Haley, doing a modified version. It's still the best you can do, even if it's modified. One leg at a time. Nice. Working the lower portion of the abdominals. This is a sacrifice of praise. Praise demands a sacrifice. Pay the cost. If the cost is our life, it's worth it. And God will honor it. The better we are, the better fit we are, the better we can serve it. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
and one. Nice, good. Now to my favorite, the double crunch. Come on, Kenny, let's do a double crunch. And begin, double crunch, good. Remember, this is working both the upper and the lower portion of the abs. Really a strong move. Legs extended, nice. See how he's crunching it in the middle right here? That's really good. Nice, crunch it, good. And keeping your feet off the floor keeps that constant tension, which is really important for the abdominals. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, good, good. All right, flip over, planks, let's go. Let's go. Elbows and toes, and begin, good. Yeah, really draw that navel in nice and tight. Praise the Lord. Yes, I'm good job, good job. Right Let's go. Come on, hold it tight. Hold it tight, everybody. If you're training with Haley, you're on your knees. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, nice. All right, everyone flip over. It's time for the Pray Fit Challenge. As many double crunches, my favorite, as many double crunches as you can do in 33 seconds. Everybody ready? At home ready? Let's go. And begin, go. Come on, everyone at home, 33 seconds, as many as you can do. <laughs> Whatever the cost is, you're gonna pay it, right, Kenny? Yes, sir. Right, you at home, too. Pay the price. Whatever the cost is, here's where we give our symphony of praise, with our limbs, with our abdominals, as many as you can do. Good job, Kenny. Good job at home, keep going. As many as you can do in 33 seconds. Come on, now, finish strong. Come on, now, here's our sacrifice. Here it is, here it is, it's just giving it up. Give it up, let's go. Come on, five, four, come on, three, hear it, two, and one. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> Feeling that? How many did you do at home? Good, you gotta remember that number because tomorrow we wanna beat it. Tomorrow, you're gonna do better than you did today. All right, everybody, we're moving on to pray fit flexibility. We've done strength, we've done cardio, we've done abs, it's time for flexibility. I'll join you on the mat. The first exercise is for the low back. Everybody, we wanna lie back, head flat. All we're gonna do is we're gonna bring one knee to the chest, get a nice, good stretch of the low back. Good. Nothing bouncy, but you know, you wanna, you wanna push yourself. You wanna make sure that your, your, your flexibility is optimal. It's very important. It's one of the major aspects of physical fitness. Nice and easy, but stretch it. Especially after all the work we've done, it's very important for recovery. And it's, and it's important that we, we put flexibility last because it's for range of motion purposes. We want to keep that functional range of motion. We want to keep the muscles pliable. And it's good that we're doing it after the workout because it's like a sponge. Our muscles are like a sponge. They, they, they flex better when there's a lot of fluid in them. You know, like a, like a sponge does with water. Flex that low back. Five seconds, pull, pull, pull it even more, and one, and release, good. Switch legs, good, same thing, same thing. Challenge yourself, good, come on, good. Pull it in. Some might be more flexible than others, that's fine. Just make sure it's your best, make sure it's your best. Come on. And we've said it before, that the more flexible we get, the stronger we get, the better our abs are, our chest and arms, those are just byproducts of obedience. Every day, getting a little better, a little stronger, a little bit more flexible, all in honor of the one who made us. Good, five seconds, five, four, three, two, one more pull, good. And everyone sit up, nice and easy. Time for the hamstring stretch. Legs straight, okay, all we're gonna do is we're gonna reach over one side, really try and flex that hamstring, really good. Like I said, some are more flexible than others, that's fine. Do your best, because tomorrow you wanna be a little bit more flexible than the day before. Each day, challenging yourself to do a little bit more, a little bit more flexible, a little stronger, a little bit more with cardio and abs. Same thing with flexibility. Try to bring that nose to your knee. Everyone feeling that? Feeling that? Feels, should feel good. Just short of painful. You don't want it to be hurting or pulling, but you want it to be challenging. Good, come on. Even more. Nice job, five, 
four, three, two, one, and switch sides. Challenge it, challenge it. Don't forget to breathe, don't forget to breathe. Really reach over. And if you release and then stretch some more, stretch over, breathe. It's also another aspect of waiting till the end. If you do this before, it actually makes your muscles weaker before doing strength activity. So you always want to save it for last. Keep going. Pull. You should be progressively getting closer to your knee. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. And release gently. Good. Everybody on the feet. On your feet. Let's go. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna stretch the front, the quads, okay? All we're gonna do is we're gonna reach back, grab one foot, and pull on the quad. Takes a little balance. Not about perfection, it's just about obedience. Pull the quad. Nice. Stretch. Good. With all the squatting we've done, it's ought to feel really good. Come on, stretch it. Challenge yourself. Two and one. Good stretch. Ooh, that felt good. Switch legs. Pull it up. Nice. Even takes a little balance and core work, at least for me. Good. Pull that quad. Nice. Really stretch it. And again, it's important that we've saved this for last. A lot of fluid in those muscles. Five seconds. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Gently release. Nice. All right. Now let's stretch the chest out. Arms behind you. Lock your, lock your hands and raise your arms as high as you can behind you. Take a deep breath. Stretch that chest out. Really open up that rib cage. Good. Come on. This takes work. This shouldn't be easy. Got to work at it. Even though we're not moving, it's still work. Release briefly, and again, good. Raise those arms up, feel it in the chest, shoulders, even in the traps, nice. Very good. Awesome. Remember, we don't strive to be healthy in order to be loved by God. We strive to be healthy because we are. Flexibility is a part of that. Good, come on, a little bit more. down. Awesome. Good. Now let's stretch those shoulders out. One arm across. Pull it with the other arm. And pull. Really stretch that shoulder out. Stand up tall. Do a lot of upper body work. Shoulders very important that we warm it up well, we train it well, and we work on flexibility. It's really important. Pull it. Nothing should be hurting, but it should be work. Nice. Very good. And switch sides. Reach across. Pull with the arm. And pull. Good. If there's anything we neglect when we work out, it's flexibility. Think about everything we've done today. We've done strength training, we've done cardio, we've worked on abs, and a lot of times we forget about flexibility. And it's important that we're doing it last. Again, very important that we include this. It's an integral part of physical fitness. Even as we age, no matter what, what age you are, whether you're an athlete, a young athlete, or, or getting up there in age, flexibility is very important, functional and for performance. So it's good. Stay flexible every single day. Five seconds, five, four, three, Two, one, Oof. good. Now, let's stretch the back of the arms, the triceps. One arm up, grab right there, one arm, and stretch the triceps. Good. Pull on the hand, pull on the wrist. Feel that in the long head of the triceps. Nothing jerky, nothing too bouncy, just nice, even keel, but work. 
How's everybody doing? Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch it up. Switch arms. Good. Reach above. Hold the wrist and pull. Stretch that triceps. Tabs in tight. Awesome. Good job. A few more seconds. Keep on stretching. Stretch those triceps out. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good stretch. Shake it out. Shake it out. You know what that means? That's it. You did it. 33 minutes. Good job. Good job. Thank you, everybody. Awesome job. Awesome job. 33 minutes, and you're done. Just think about everything we've done today. We've done strength. We've done cardio. We've done abs and flexibility. And I'll go back to something I said earlier about Joshua at the wall. You know, little by little, the world will see you weren't just walking around in circles. A slimmer waistline, stronger arms, stronger legs, those things are just byproducts of obedience. And think about it. We use just our body weight to do so. Day in, day out, doing a little more than we did the day before, all in honor of the one who made us. In Jesus' name, we train. Pray fit. Good job. Good job, everybody. Good job. That's an awesome job. Awesome. Awesome. Good job.